What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of iMovie Monday. And today, I want to take you through some of the audio tools inside of iMovie. So if you select the audio tab here, you can now choose music that you have inside of iMovie to add to your edit. And you can see at the bottom here, there's a music note and that's where the music will be added to. So all you have to do is just pick any song here and you can drag it to the bottom. Say you wanna add some music to your edit, but you don't have it inside the iTunes folder. You can easily just drag the song that you want into the edit like this and it does the exact same thing as if you were to take it from here so now we have the audio track to work with keep in mind if it's red up here and yellow it's saying that the audio is too loud so if we select the clip and come up to our audio here the volume what we can do is drag this down and as you can see as i drag down the red and yellow starts to disappear so we'll just drag it to right around there and that should be a good audio level there i don't have the audio on this clip on so i'll just drag it up to bring the audio back and come back to the volume tab here and you can select this lower volume of other clips. So now you can see it has dropped the volume down here while this audio is playing and then it spikes back up. And now when you play back, the audio will drop down. And then at the end it will pick back up again. Now let's say you want some background music. You can just use this here to adjust the volume too as well instead of pulling here if that's something you don't want to do so that's two different ways you can go about adjusting the volume i'd say leave it about five percent then if you want it louder you can just drag it up another awesome thing that iMovie has inside of here is sound effects there's hundreds of sound effects here so if you go through and find something that fits your edit you can just select it and drag it down so for this let's say i don't want to use the audio that's here I can drag this away so now it's quiet and I can choose maybe for this I want a wind sound effect so let me just type in wind here and now it gives you a bunch of different effects that have the name wind in it I'll find a sound effect that fits the edit the best okay I think this one fits the best here so what I'll do is I'll just select some of it I'm going to hit O up there. Now I'm going to drag this down into here. And as you can see, it's placed that on top of the music clip there. And I'm just going to drag it to the end of the clip here so it plays throughout the whole duration. I'll just bring it down a little bit more so it's subtle. And you can hear how that sounds played back. So you can hear the difference there between having the sound effect and not having the sound effect. I find adding these sound effects help bring the video to life and it helps bring the viewer into the edit because with those sound effects, it sounds like they're actually there. Let's add another effect here to the traffic shot I have here. So I'm just gonna type in traffic. Let's hear how this sounds. Okay, and I think that fits really well. You could also use the audio that you have here, but for when I shot this, I didn't have my microphone attached. So it's not really the greatest quality. So I'm just gonna choose the sound effect because these are much higher quality than my in-camera audio. So I'll just drag it under here. So let's just play it back without the sound. Okay, so you get the point. Now let's play it with the sound added in. And there you have added some sound design by using subtle sound effects inside the iMovie folder. So play around with these sound effects. You can keep the music in there too while these sound effects are happening. I just took it out so you can hear it better. That's a few different ways you can get creative with the sound design inside of iMovie. Moving down here, we have GarageBand too as well. So if you have any tracks inside GarageBand or any instruments, you can import 
that audio into here. And the last thing I want to touch on for the audio effects inside of iMovie is there's this voice record button here. So if we click this here, it says record voiceover. And now we're prompted with voice tools here. So if you click this area, you can choose the import source that you want to use for your voiceover. But one thing to keep in mind, so before you click this area here, you're going to have to make sure your playhead is over a video clip. If you're not over a clip here, what's going to happen is you can't press record. So you're going to want to make sure your playhead is over a clip. And now you can see that area has gone red again, so we can record. And then if you click here, we have voiceover options and you can change the import source. So for me, I have a microphone plugged into the computer, so I'm just going to choose my microphone here. And if not, you can use the built in microphone inside of your computer. I wouldn't say it's the greatest though, because you can get a little bit more of an echoey sound to your voice recording. So I would suggest maybe plugging in your headphones or using AirPods or something like that, because that sound is going to be more crisp than if it comes from just the computer itself. So say, for example, you're watching your video back and you want to do a narration as to what's happening or what you were thinking during that time, you might want to mute the project if it has audio in it because the audio can be distracting as you're trying to see your voiceover. So I would suggest keeping the mute project on. And here we can change the volume of the input. So it has my audio going here now. And you can notice as I pull it up higher, it starts to get red. So you want to make sure that you're not peaking too much. So have a little test audio before you actually press record that way you know when it's time to record that you won't be peaking in your audio levels because that will cut off some of the sound and make it sound a little distorted so i think right around there is good and for example i'm just going to press record what's going on everybody welcome back to another episode of iMovie monday today i'm just doing a test for iMovie voice recording i don't really know what else to say for this but this should be a good example here. So when you're done doing your voice recording, all you have to do is press the stop button here and it will play your voice recording back. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of iMovie Monday. Today, I'm just doing a test for iMovie voice recording. I don't really know what else to say for this, but this should be a good example here. So when you're done, so there's the voice recording. And now if you wanna adjust the volume here, so you made it a little too loud, you can just pull this down here and adjust it that way and you can move it around to where you want it to be if you want the voice recording to start here or maybe at the beginning maybe you don't want the voice recorder to be over these clips you can just drag it to the end and now it's away from those clips so it's weird that you can't just have the playhead here and start recording without video clips playing but if you record the voiceover you can move it to anywhere you want on the timeline after the recording so that's all I have for everyone today. Those are the audio tools you can use inside of iMovie to help enhance your edits and make the audience more engaged by maybe using sound effects and voiceover recordings. I will see you next Monday for another episode of iMovie Monday. Until then, keep creating.